All right, here we are again with the Corvette. Uh, I hadn't done any filming for a couple weeks, just been busy getting it done and working on some other cars. So, uh, this is the vet. We put it into DPS urethane sealer. It's a, a black urethane primer. Um, that's its last. We went ahead and uh, gel coated this thing three times that it had a real nice layer of gel. Um, Worked and straightened out all the nice lines. Everything's laid out real nice. They're real nice and sharp. You got a real good edge. And then they're rounded off just subtle across the top and just subtle. And if you can see the edges. And uh, all our lines are real nice down it. Now I got some little shadows and different things because I've went back and sanded some spots and did a little bit of spot priming here and there. Today was basically we sanded down and got the hood back off and did all the engine compartment and uh, put all that in DPS primer, which is uh, PPG products. Um, so we went and sanded the inside of the hood and got all that really sealed up so I can take that and do a little 180 here and there, but mostly 400 at this stage. And it'll get ready to be put in the sealer and painted black satin. But uh, that's where she's at right now. I'll try to leave the camera on a couple times this week and do a little bit of feed so everybody can see what's going on. I've gotten some questions and different things before off, but you know, of how we got the line so straight. And we use a lot of lasers and set things up with lasers and tape lines that you can see how straight we get all our seams and our edges. All right, I'll come back to this in a week or so. All right, here she is back in the booth again. She's been all sanded, water's wet sanded, getting ready to be wiped down. Um, I'm taping up all the outside stuff right now, all the holes from the inside, getting all that. Um, I'm gonna be spraying all this firewall black, all the edge compartment and everything. And then we're gonna go to a stone guard urethane underneath stone guard the whole undercarriage the wheel wells and everything and then uh, i'm taping get ready for paint first of the week so I'll sit over the weekend again and uh first of the week should be in paint that's that's what she had right now she's all ready to go everything inside done all the back wheel wells are all ready and everything's uh ready to go so I'm gonna just come back when I'm all papered and taped up, maybe, and then uh, keep on rolling. All right, all the engine compartments all painted in black. As you see, the whole car's been taped up. Everything's ready. We're gonna be doing the stem guard underneath of the car and doing all the wheel wells, all the Engine compartment's been done in a nice satin black. You can see it up inside of every area. Everything's been taped and made. So, the hood turned out real nice. You gotta tape it off and go to the green. And uh, looks real good. But it's uh, just sitting here drying. You know, let it dry for a while and tape it all up and uh, all the black we did in the engine compartment and go to doing all the stone guard under the wheel wells and the body of the car. Alright, that's about where we're at so you see what's going on. Alright, here we are again with the bit. That's the tire, spare tire cover. It's all being cleaned up. It's all been put back into a urethane-based stone guard, which is a, an activated stone guard. It gives it a nice repellent rubber treatment. All the front and everything that was planted in black satin has been taped up. Uh, all the front end, everything inside the bottom, the wheel wells are all done in a nice stone guard. Everything underneath that was clean got to put in an epoxy and a stone guard. 
It'll help prevent any kind of rust around any of these metal fittings that are attached underneath of the car. All the rails and everything to it have been cleaned up. The bottom half of the car has been all sealed. It's gonna now sit over the weekend. It'll probably be untaped, but uh, then it'll be ready to get it in paint at the beginning of the week. Um, it's late Friday afternoon right now, and uh, it's turned out really nice. It really looks good. It's got a nice smooth coat to it. It's got a nice texture. So uh, it ought to help really preserve this car for years and years and years to come. Um, factory used to use a tar-based undercoating to kind of protect the body. It dries out, it flakes off over time, it doesn't seal and prevent rust. This is an activated urethane system that really seals. We use it on all the bottoms of all our cars and it just uh, really looks good. We'll take a look at it. There's our bet right now. Up now, air on the rotisserie, sitting sideways. So, she's uh, real close to being painted and sat back onto its chassis. All the motors getting painted and put into the chassis, and uh, I'll show you more of that next week. All right. There, we just untaped everything. Getting ready to wipe down and wipe it off some solvent, clean off some of the tape marks and stuff. It uh, looks pretty decent though. Let's get a general idea real quick. But the body's all wet sanded, all ready to go and washed and she, is, she looks good. I'm real tickled with her. Turned out real nice. 